Good evening, everyone. My name is Brian Rutt, B-R-I-A-N-R-U-T-T. -T. I'm an air safety investigator with the National Transportation Safety Board. Here I'm investigating uh, the helicopter accident that occurred last night. We're in the early phases of this investigation, so we're collecting all the evidence we can while we're here on scene. We plan to be on scene at least another day. Uh, so I'll go over what we know so far, and then I'll give uh, some time at the end for some questions. So last night, shortly before 8 p.m. local time, a Robinson R44, November 881 Kilo Echo, impacted a radio tower and crashed. There was a post-impact fire this helicopter departed out of Ellington Airport and there were four people on board and tragically all four were fatally injured. Our condolences go to the family and friends of those who were lost. Today on scene, uh, we have been collecting all the evidence we can. Uh, we'll be doing that for at least another couple hours tonight and then we'll be back at it tomorrow. Uh, I need to give a shout out to the local law enforcement, the Houston Police Department, Houston Fire, local EMS and first responders did a great job securing this scene and they uh, continue to serve us on scene today. Um, like I said, we are still in the early stages so we're just gathering all the evidence we can. Uh, it's a pretty complex scene so we're, we're being meticulous in how we approach this. I will be joined with additional investigators who are on their way now, and they will be here tomorrow on scene as well. Uh, the FAA has also been involved. They were here last night, and uh, they are assisting throughout this investigation. Uh, we do have a outlet for people to give us witness reports that I'd like to mention. That can be done at uh, emailing witness at ntsb.gov. Uh, we are aware of some surveillance videos, and if there are more, uh, we're interested in seeing those as well. Um, also, witness statements can go to that same email address. Future press briefings will be announced on our Twitter feed or X feed at NTSB Newsroom. With that, uh, are there any questions? I have time for a few. What can you tell us about the notice to air missions that was in place uh, for this particular tower? Okay, so uh, the question was about notice to air missions or NOTAMs as they're called. Uh, the FAA handles all the NOTAMs, so those would be directed towards the FAA if you have questions about the NOTAMs. I am not aware. Uh, I haven't had time to research the NOTAMs for this one, but that is something that a pilot should do before every flight is check all the NOTAMs. Do you know anything about issues with the lighting on the tower? There have been a lot of reports of that. Not at this time. I'm not aware. Uh, we haven't gotten that far into the investigation. Are We're still early. Recovered? A black box recovered? Question is about a black box or flight data recorders. Uh, this particular airplane does not have a flight data recorder and it's not required to. Uh, but we are searching for other uh, devices that contain data that have we can use. Uh, we have been given some debris from local residents and we encourage those if they do find debris in their yards to notify law enforcement and uh, get that to us so we can collect that. Any history on this particular aircraft that you have? I don't have any, any history on it right now. Not that I can give. Uh, FAA keeps records of that. Um, so you can talk to them about um, the history of that airplane or this helicopter. Any age or name? Uh, lo local law enforcement will have that. They'll have names uh, of the victims uh, when they're ready to be released. There, there are reports of human remains and scattered some, some, in some properties. How confident are you that you're going to be able to gather every piece of evidence to put this together? Yeah, the medical examiner's office is here and they're working uh, diligently to collect what they need to collect. Uh, my focus is on the, on the wreckage. I have time for one more question. Any update on road closures? Is it still four acres that you guys are searching or has that been condemned? Uh, right now, I don't believe the, the cordon area has decreased, but the plan is to get that decreased um, here in the near future.
So thank you, everyone. Uh, any questions, you can contact our local media relations team. Thank you.